37 years ago, my horse decided to try out as a bucking bronco for the rodeo. He forgot to tell me. When I regained consciousness, my friends say that I fell approximately six feet, landed on my lower back, and flapped my head into the ground. I saw stars, navy blue black gown, gold stars coming in and out. I had pounding in my ears. My vision was blurred. My back hurt. I was shaking. With help, I remounted the horse like any good cowgirl and sent everyone in and rode the pasture, put the horse up, took two Advil because I knew they could solve any problem, and stretched out on a picnic table. With sunset approaching, my children said, Mom, it's getting cold. We've got to go. We're supposed to have friends over tonight, and we've got a horse show to go to. Just what I had in mind. So we got home, but first we drove 90 minutes and did a quick pit stop at one Buccaneer place, hoping to find a trainer who had not left for the Christmas vacation. No such luck, but as I walked in the office, I was literally dragging my left leg. The receptionist quickly called the doctor, the team doctor. I downplayed my symptoms, and he said, oh, you've got a hip pointer. I went, oh, okay. He said, go home and rest, call me in an hour. Went home, walked right into my daughter's bedroom because there was no way I was making it to my bedroom on the second floor. Crawled into her bed, and for the next 40 minutes, I tried not to be sick. I willed myself to be well. Finally, I lost that battle, rolled over, and threw up in Hello Kitty wastebasket. <laughs> that was just not going to work. My daughter, being horribly upset that I would desecrate Hello Kitty, ran and called the team doctor and said, Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe. Mom threw up in Hello Kitty. And so he said, I'll be right there. He called the ambulance. He called my mother and father. They came over, and I ended up in the hospital. Yes, I had broken my back. The doctor said that I was lucky I was still walking. I ended up in the hospital for special surgery for three weeks to evaluate my brain. I have no balance to this day. I search for words, like instead of saying swimming pool, I'll say water hole. Close, but not exactly what I meant to say. I have lost my temporal sense. I cannot tell you the day, the week, the month, the season, the year, or anything that happened to me in the past. If you ask me, when did you last go to the dentist, I was out sometime in the past. The reason my brain is so damaged is because if you picture an egg, the yolk is the brain, the white is the spinal fluid, which nourishes and protects the brain from the hard skull. When there is a whiplash effect, the brain crashes into that hard skull and is bruised and damaged. According to Newton, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Your brain then will hit the back, your motor center, hit the front where you think logically and have emotions, and then flip back and forth, just injuring the heck out of your brain. Uh, Helmet will do nothing to stop the movement within the brain. And that's what your takeaway today is. Nothing you put on your head can possibly stop the movement of the brain 
inside your skull. And you've got to think about that carefully. If you take a turtle egg and shake it, your mother will tell you you're going to kill the turtle. Same thing, you don't take a bird egg and shake it, nor do you take a baby and shake it. Same theory. Your brain will be bruised and concussed. Thank you.